Hi, it's Olga. In my last bullet journal video, I was showing you how I made the front page and the first week spread. And uh, this time I'm going to make three more weekly spreads to last till the end of January. Sorry for publishing it a little bit late. I'd like to say that I didn't buy any stuff uh, to make this journal, except the journal itself. And I'm encouraging you to look through your stash and try to use your old supplies in a new unexpected way. So let's get started. I'm using a die called Clapperboard. This one is by Fuzzy Lemon. I have die cut the image out of uh, black paper and now I am stenciling through the die. The ink I'm using is Unicorn by Hero Arts. This will be my main image. And now I'm going all over the edges of my pages with the pumice stone distress ink. I have placed my old sketchbook underneath the pages, but in fact it's easier just to take out the pages and then put them back when they are ready. And this is exactly what I'm doing now. I'm taking the pages out and uh, then I'm going to do some stamping. To create this weekly spread, I'm going to use a stamp set called Star Studded Birthday. It's also by Fuzzy Lemon. I'm placing a page inside the stamping tool and the first stamp I'm going to use is a sentiment one. It says Lights, Camera, Action. You can see that I have a washi tape already attached to the page and that is how I'm starting each spread in this book. I'm just picking washi tape randomly from the stash and then I'm trying to make the whole layout matching this particular tape. This one happened to be a film strip, so the whole layout will be about old movies. The next stamp I'm going to use is a framed sentiment and in fact I'm only going to use the frame. So I'm only inking up the frame, leaving the sentiment uh, untouched, and then I'm going to stamp it. Of course, if the image is uh, not quite stamped through, you can repeat the process as many times as you want. But uh, I think for this project, as I'm going for a vintage look, I don't really have to make the um, stamping perfect. Now I am using another framed sentiment and again I'm only going to use the frame. Actually it's not quite a frame, it's uh, the two studded strips that I'm going to add to my project. The idea here is to create seven frames to stand for seven days of the week. Six frames are going to be the rectangles with the rounded corners and uh, the seventh one is formed by the two strips. Then I am adding more stamping using the sentiments from the same set. This is the left page. I have already stamped the three frames and now I am adding uh, one more sentiment. Then I'm going to do some stenciling. This stencil is a mini one by Memory Box. It's called Smash. I'm using Pumice Stone Distress Ink again, the same one I used to darken up the edges of the pages. Then uh, with a little bit of liquid glue I'm going to attach the die cut image that I have prepared at the very beginning, somewhere in the center of this page. And then I'm going to use the same stencil on the other page. I'm not going to the very edges of the stencil with the ink so that I can create the soft uh, transitions. All it's left to do now is to write uh, the dates and the days of the week in each of the frames. The first layout for today is now finished. And now we can move on to the next one. The washi tape is already attached to the page and this time it's uh, the cinema tickets. 
So the second layout will also be movie themed, but uh, this time I'm going to use the shades of brown. For the focal image I'll be using this dye called Movie Drink. It's by Fuzzy Lemon again. I have die cut this cup out of the sticky note because I'm going to make a mask out of it. So I am attaching it to the right page and also securing it with some washi tape. And then I'm going to do some inking. I'm applying tea dye distress ink all around the cup. I'm starting at the image itself and then moving outwards. I'm going for a very vintage look again, so any imperfections are welcome. What I'm going to do next is to mask off the horizon line, or in this case it's a table line. And I'm applying a darker shade of brown underneath. This is vintage photo. After the ink is applied I can remove the mask. I'm also going to color in the stripes on a cup. I'll be using um, Fired Brick Distress ink. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of brown. And this is going to be Walnut Stain. And then I can finally remove the cup mask. Now I'm going to do a little bit stenciling through the die. And I'm adding this uh, little detail on the lid of the cup. Then I'm going to use some word stamps from the same set I used for the previous spread. This time I'm using brown ink by Memento. It is called Espresso Truffle. I'm just stamping the words randomly around the cup. I'm creating a kind of grid on a page using the washi tape. And that is to mask off some rectangles. I will need five rectangles on the left page and two on the right page. Each of them will stand for the day of the week. Now I'm coloring all the rectangles with the tea dye distress ink. And then I will remove the tape. I'm going to use Ground Espresso Distress Marker to trace each frame. I'm going to create very sketchy double lines to make those colored frames a little bit more graphic. And then I will also be tracing a cup. I'm taking out the pages because I'm planning to add even more stamping. I'll be using two bubble-shaped stamps, big and small. They are from the stamp set called Studio Blotter by Poppy Stamps. I'm going to stamp them with Fired Brick Distress Ink, the same one I used for coloring the cup. I'm going to scatter those soda bubbles all around the pages. I'm writing a date in each frame with the ground espresso distress marker and that finishes the second spread for today.
The washi tape I used for the last layout is uh, vintage, it's old letter themed, and uh, I have uh, looked through my stash and found some uh, matching stamps. They are by Graphic 45 mostly, except the little one that is by Inka Dinka Do. I'm gonna do the same trick again, and that is uh, stamping uh, the frame from the framed sentiment. I'm applying espresso truffle ink carefully around the frame, and I'm going to stamp it three times on that uh, left page. Then I'm going to stamp that little compass close to the frames. And I'm also going to add one uh, B image. My focal image is going to be this rose and I'm stamping it on the right page of my layout. I also have an elongated frame and I'm going to stamp it one time vertically and two times horizontally. While doing the horizontal stamping, I'm skipping uh, one of the flourishes to make the frame fit into the page. Now I have to mask off all the frames to be able to add some color to the background. To create the background, I'm going to use the Distress Spritzer by Tim Holtz, as well as three colors of Distress Markers. The first color I'm using is Fired Brick. I'm securing the marker with that uh, little plastic screw, and then I'm starting to spritz it all around the page. The camera might not be catching upon it very well, because um, this mist is very, very fine. Then I am proceeding with another color, which is ground espresso. I'm applying a little bit more of that brown. And then I'm going to switch to the green color, which is peeled paint. I'm also going to color the rose with the same green and red markers. This time I'm holding the spritzer closer and uh, pushing harder, so that uh, I will have more color applied. I really like the vintage effect it creates. When the ink is dry, I'm going to remove all the masks. As a finishing touch, I'm going to hand draw a chain for the compass to hang on. I'm starting with the fine tip of the brown marker, and then I'm moving on to the black pen. That will create uh, the texture and color similar to the stamped image. Now I'm going to write the dates. And uh, I was so carried away by that vintage design that I forgot there are seven days in the week, not six. But it's not a problem. I'm just uh, dividing one frame in two, and um, it will stand for two days. That finishes my project for today, and now let's have a look at all three layouts.
Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you are looking for more inspiration, here are some uh, more videos that you might like. Have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again really soon.